Etch up and get ahead with The Edge for the week of January 18th. There's an important deadline coming up, and if you miss it, it could cost you. The window is open until January 31st to enroll in or change your health insurance under the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare. Learn more about events where you can sign up and get information on the Affordable Care Act page at nowcastsa.com. It's made possible thanks to support from Methodist Healthcare Ministries. What's the best reason to replay the video of Ginger Carrick's talk at the Conference for Undergraduate Women in Physics? For starters, NASA's first Hispanic female flight director has a heck of a sharp wit. On a more serious note, she generously shared lessons from a life that has had more than its share of Plan B, Plan C, and Plan D. Even for someone as smart as Carrick, someone who has always had their eye on the goal, the journey to success isn't a straight line. Um, so we had a pretty good time. I did that for four years. And in Mission Control, the CAPCOM sits right next to the flight director. And the flight director, how many of you have seen Apollo 13? All right, so Apollo 13, the dude with the vest and the buzz cut? Yeah, that's me. Only we're <laughs> slightly more chic now and have better hair. But so I was, I, I got selected. What's a meaningful way to honor Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Columnist and community leader Carrie Clack writes that the truest way to honor Dr. King is through nonviolence. King defined nonviolence as love in action. He once said, at the center of nonviolence stands the principle of love. Find Carrie Clack's column at Nowcast SA, and while you're there, give a replay to his TEDx video with more about how to demonstrate love in action. Understands that just as the blues are a part of the human condition, evil is a part of this world and always will be. But like the blues, we're obligated to confront evil and to try to overcome it. The theme of the civil rights movement wasn't we shall eliminate, it wasn't we shall eradicate, it was we shall overcome. I like What's the impact of the built environment on public health? That was the question at a recent conference on public health and the built environment. Replay the video of conversations about how San Antonio can plan for the future, focusing on ways to improve public health. That includes looking beyond affordable housing strategies to get at a significant challenge for our rapidly growing city, ensuring affordable housing for all residents in livable and healthy neighborhoods. Within our inner city, I would say on the west and east sides, um, there's been a history of substandard housing and crowded living conditions, as well as a lack of infrastructure. So some of the politics, when you look at the political history of San Antonio, and particularly the political involvement of the African American community and the Mexican American community. Thanks for watching The Edge. See you next time.